This is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today we're gonna make the back seat of my 2021 Ram Rebel pickup go from this to this awesome Tuffy security products under seat storage box. Stand by to watch the install. I'll tell you the positives and the negatives of this install and what I ran into. Now here's some of the things you may want to consider when purchasing one of these locking consoles you may be giving up some space under your truck. My particular truck has this fold out, uh, I guess you could call it a stopper barrier, and it has a ring that holds it in place like this. So you can see that this is probably going to have to come out to accommodate that locking console, which to me is kind of a bummer because it's going to take up some storage space that I uh, kind of enjoyed having under here. But I do want security, so there's the two uh, dilemmas, right? So this, I feel, is probably going to have to come out. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty dang positive it's gonna have to come out. The other thing that I have questioned about this is how far is this box gonna stick out? Is it gonna come out over these mats? Is that going to be a problem? I don't know. We're going to uh, find out. So this would cover the years from 2019 to 2021, probably 2022, I'm guessing now. So we're going to get started on this. I'll show you what came in the package and how to install this. All right. So we're going to get started on this unpackaging thing. I got this. This, I'm assuming, is the hardware package. So we're going to open this up. See what we got we got some instructions here some advertising uh, some bubble wrap it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of hardware that comes with this so i'm assuming this is going to be a fairly easy install so we'll open this up we've got two brackets here looks like those are going to be the brackets that hold that into the bottom of the underneath the seats and I got a, looks like I got a bunch of keys here too. So this is it right here. Some hardware, a couple brackets, and some keys. So we're gonna get started on this. Let me show you how the box looks. All right, this is a fairly good sized box. This obviously is vehicle specific. So this is basically a, 60-40 split on the box, just like it would be on the seats in your vehicle. I'll get into more details on this later, but let me show you what we got going on here inside. All right, so these obviously are really heavy duty. It's got these little points of, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna call them tumors that are sticking out of the side here. Not really a fan of that, but I'm assuming that's vehicle specific for my vehicle because there's not a lot of room under there to make the box any larger. So that's kind of kind of the necessary evil of this particular design here for uh, the Ram 2019 to 2022 uh, trucks. So anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing installed. It's, it's obviously really durable construction, nicely made. Tuffy's real good at uh, making good quality stuff. Well, see the size of this box is going to require this to come out. And there's a little section here on the direction. If you have that, uh, it tells you how to take that out. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. We're going to take these brackets out of the way. And obviously this thing's going to need to be vacuumed after we get this all cleaned up. <clears throat> we're going to start by taking this plate off, I believe. And this is obviously going to have to come out too. This is the mechanism that holds that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. To remove those three bolts, they're right here. I'm taking my Milwaukee 3H drive assault ratchet with an extension and a 10 millimeter socket. And we're just gonna remove these bolts as follows. If I get it in the right direction here, we'll get these out. All three of them, both sides. Once that divider unit's out, you'll replace those plastic uh, covers on the inside there. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna get those replaced and then we'll move on to step three in the process of getting rid of this little storage unit and that's going to be the centerpiece right here 
All right, we got the assault ratchet with the T15, uh, whatever star, whatever you want to call it. And that's going to go on either, these two bolts right there. We're going to take those out. All right, to get that cover off, you got a pressure clip that's kind of uh, on the bottom and towards the driver's side. And then there's one on the top towards the passenger side. So we're going to try and get that off. I got some of these little... Uh, plastic body tools and we'll see if we can get this out without breaking pressure clips look like and actually when i was taking it out i broke one so just be aware of that if you're trying to save this piece it's a pain in the butt getting those out now that's how that should look now that that covers off have this plastic lower plastic piece off right here you can back the box up a little closer to the uh, back of the truck so let's get that done we take the assault ratchet and we remove these with the 10 millimeter uh they say wrench, I'm going to use the socket. We'll go over there and do the same thing. All right, now we're going to take these seat mounting brackets like this. I'm going to slide them in between the bracket and the... I want me to slide this in between, but you can see this isn't doing it because this bracket here has a lip on it. So it's not really allowing me to get that slid into that. So I'm gonna loosen this bolt up back here uh, with an 18 millimeter and, and loosen it up enough to where I can lift this up and get this bracket in here because it certainly can't go on the top. So we're gonna go and uh, do that now, but they don't really tell you about the lip. Okay, either I'm an idiot and I'm not denying that that's a possibility or Tuffy kind of screwed up. These holes here are pretty big. So to put them here, you really can't do that. They say to slide them in between. You see it stops here. The reason it stops is because there's a big metal lip underneath that. Um, so the idea of putting that in there with that metal lip just doesn't appeal to me. Um, you have to pry that up and then it kind of offsets the seat a little bit, kind of tweaks the seat. I think they should have rounded these holes out big, bigger so that would fit in the metal lip and pop up. But there's a big ring around the bottom of this, and I'll see if I can show that to you. Get the camera in here. You can see that metal ring. It does not allow that um, opening of this hole to go in where they say to slide it in. So what I'm going to do to alleviate that problem is just put a washer on this. Uh, not the best way to do it, not the way Tuffy says to do it, but I'm going to have to do it that way. I don't have another choice. So that's where we're going from here. Yeah, so the directions read alternately slip number 8.4 and 8.5 mounting brackets, which are these, between the seat mount brackets and the seat mount pedestals of the vehicle so that the mounting holes may clearly be seen through the aubround holes in the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket should extend towards the middle of the vehicle. So I mounted them up on top. I don't know if that's gonna change the way it should be mounted. We're gonna see, but shame on you, Tuffy. This last part here is pretty straightforward. We got these uh, thumb knobs or thumb screws, and then we've got these um, mushroom head bolts that are gonna go in through the backside, right in here. And then we'll washer these up and put it on loosely. So that's what we're gonna do next. Just so I can show you, these go like this right here, and then these fit in there in a notch, like so. And then the washer and the slump screw goes on the inside, giving it a secure locking point. So we're gonna finish this up, and then we'll adjust it accordingly. Now here's the negative that you're gonna run into too. The way these mounting brackets mount, it, the cool thing is, is you do have a little bit of storage space behind this box, which is a nice thing too. So you have storage in the box and behind the box, which is really great. The only negative I see is your RAM boxes, your little RAM boxes here on the side, are gonna be obstructed unless you cut this mat. And you know, I hate cutting these mats. I'll probably end up taking these mats out and replacing them with something different, but it kind of saddens me that I can't use these mats. Either that, or like I said, I'll have to cut these mats, which I may do, end up doing. But uh, it's just something that um, you can't really get around. So that's the way this is gonna be. Um, 
I do like the box. I want the box, but it's not going to be easy. So we're keeping everything loose right now, and I'm going to pull these mats and see where this box is. Now for the positives and the negatives. Anyhow, I'm going to tell you, this is really a nice product. Um, one of the negatives was the way they had you install these. Um, Tuffy's not keeping up, obviously, on the way these seats are being produced. Uh, they have changed them. I am going to make a phone call to Tuffy. I have no affiliation with them, but I'm going to let them know that this actually should be underneath here. And uh, it would make it cleaner. And um, that's the way they say to do it in the instructions. Unfortunately, um, if you can imagine, there's a lip under that that's causing problems. Uh, a positive thing is that you still have quite a bit of storage behind this back seat. So you're not sacrificing that much storage. You have lockable storage and then you have stuff to, you know, you can throw clothes and, and uh, tools and stuff here. The, ne the other negative thing is that those mats that I had, that I'm sure are very expensive that came with it, my Rebel mat, I'm gonna have to probably cut or not use because the box goes over all that and it doesn't allow me access to the, the uh, little RAM boxes back here. The positive thing is if I do cut the mats, the mats aren't covering these RAM boxes, which they were doing before. So I think in the long run, I'm probably gonna like this better, but right now I'm just having a hard time stomaching cutting these mats. But this is kind of how it looks like with the seats folded down. Give you an idea, you can see a bit of the box, but it's not gonna interfere with anything. Um, but it's a real clean install. Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, I think it's gonna uh, serve me for years to come. Um, anyhow, that's gonna be all for this video. If you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, don't forget to like and share these videos. If you have any comments, make sure you make them down below. I'll try to get to them as soon as I possibly can. And just remember, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching.